Today in the Smuggles Room, I thought we would build Luke Skywalker's lunchbox. Nope, it's Halloween. <laughs> and I'm taking over the shop. Let's make some gravestones. On a cold night. On a cold night. It's time for some cricket cutting. Tonight. Using our cricket and some sticker vinyl, we were able to create sticker stencils for the lettering of these tombstones. I used the Cricut Design app to create each tombstone's epitaph and then cut them out on multiple sheets. Something I do, taking off this vinyl, is I flip this mat upside down to pull it. If I do it in this manner, it keeps it from totally curling up on itself. Otherwise, it just goes All right, we're about to freehand these cuts, and I'm a little nervous. Uh, nope. Didn't take me long to figure out that I needed to use a straight edge to cut the shapes of the tombstones. We cut them, then stick them, and spray the letters to make the guides for when we route the letters later. Oh, the vinyl I used here is thin and flimsy. It was a little tricky peeling and placing these words onto the foam. If you do this technique, get a thicker sticker vinyl so it's not so floppy for you. Of course, we needed to add some dimension to these, so we made frames for tombstones to make them more interesting. We're using this better working, fancy colored hot glue stick. Link is in the notes below if you want to try it out. piece of advice. Always practice on scrap material. This is a first for me and I wanted to get a feel for the router before diving right in. I'm going really slow here to not overdo it. Hey, that looks pretty good. Cool. Thanks, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
uh, we're gonna mix up some paint and a little thin set mortar for tile. Gives a nice kind of chunky texture to it, doesn't it? Now the mortar thickens this up quite a bit. Where we had a lot of great detail from the torch, the thickness of paint there really starts to fill in some of those gaps and just spray it. And then we can work in the mortar and paint so that we can start to pull out some of the detail. see here that the paint and the mortar it gets thicker as it sits just take a little bit of water and occasionally thin it just a little bit but it'll still cure at the end of everything take a paper towel and we can come in here this takes the brush marks away and helps make it look a little bit more like stone Don't fall over. Fall over. <laughs> kind of eyeball on it? Oh yeah. <laughs> what? Cool. <laughs> what? It's weathering. You don't need anything more than eyeballs. Since we don't really know the consistency, I'm gonna start on the back and spray a little bit on here just to see what it's coming out like. So, you know, with latex, you don't have a whole lot of working time like you do with oil. I just kind of feather some mm. of these edges a little bit. I'm not digging the latex. The latex paint and water works, but it gives you so little working time. We got some water mixable oil paint and a little bit of uh, mineral spirit. And we're gonna make a mix, a wash out of this instead. It'll uh, give us a lot more working time than the latex stuff. Oh, you just gave him hair. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Yeah, it just, it has a different flow and viscosity to it. You know, I can come in and dampen it a little bit like this. And then I can take the dry brush and I can pull it down. We can come back in here if we don't like certain elements and we can apply the paint thinner to it and it'll remove it. I can use a makeup sponge. See how I was able to clear that up all the way? So now that spot is gone. into all these letters with a oil wash paints and some thinner make these pop a little bit A big thanks to Derek at Van Oaks Props for his tombstone tips. His link is in the description below. A happy Halloween from the Smuggler's Room, and we will spook you again next week. <laughs> Today in the Smuggler's Room, I thought we would make Luke Skywalker... <laughs> Luke Skywalker's lunchbox. Nope, it's Halloween. We're going to make some gravestones.